Let's go. Get up, get up, and they got gold on. Good morning, fellow pioneers of human transportation, Yogi Steve. It is seven o'clock in the morning. We're doing like a two or a two and a half hour shift. I have to be home for a, nine, a 9.30 personal training client. First, we have this order for $5.87, 2.5 mile sand bagels. Let's get this and then I'll properly introduce you to the channel. When the market is weak like this and I get an order right out my front door, I just take it. $5.87, two and a half miles is a crappy order but it's just a couple of bagel sandwiches and they'll be ready by the time we get there because they're pretty far away from where we got the order. It's pretty cold right now, but I think it's gonna really warm up later in the day. I'm gonna work all day today for sure. All right, there's Sam's Bagels. I don't see a line of people, that's a good sign. We're gonna do a little cut across action here. Oh, nothing like a little high speed Sunset Boulevard driving right after you wake up to wake your ass up. Sometimes there's not enough coffee in the world. Hi there, I have Lucia M for DoorDash. Thank you very much. Alrighty, we got it. I love orders like this, you just throw them in a bag. And then we're out of here. What I do like about this order is it's just a house drop off, so it'll be very easy and quick. We're listening to some Rush today. T probably one of my top five bands. I'm a self-respecting nerd, it better be. If you're a self-respecting nerd, Rush is gotta be one of your top bands. I was worried it was one of those big buildings, but it's not, it's gonna be right here. I'm kind of in a guessing situation, but maybe the numbers will be on here. I think I figured, I just had to guess the code. I figured it out. You see the goddamn app is not working. I'm trying to call the customer. I always like to do this right. Hello there. Hi, it's your DoorDash driver. I'm here. Um, Are you at the gate? Yeah, I'm at the glass gate. Like with the, gla the green. Yeah, the code is passed. Cool. Yeah, can you just leave it at the door? You got it, of course. Okay. You got it. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure, you too. Oh my god. It's like you're saving hungover people. It's like you're a fucking superhero. I forgot to take my pictures. God damn it. It's like you're a superhero for the hungover. <laughs> that should be the thumbnail for sure. All right, let's go, Superman. It is nice having all this open space in front of you on Sunset Boulevard. I mean, this is, it's just these roads are pretty good. You do gotta watch out for potholes, but, and obviously drivers, but it's pretty nice this time of day. I, like, I do like the morning shift. Let's just get some orders now. They're in the uh, wash down portion of the morning here. So I know there's always one dry spot right here. Thank you. Bye, friends. We'll see you next time. Not only is this a good $7 order for, well, for 0.7 miles, but we're coming right back for another $7, only 0.4 miles, but we're going to come back. They're not ready. All right, I got another one. Michael D for Uber. Thank you. Fuck. Yes, let's go.
Oh, the sun's coming out. It's gonna be so nice today. I can't believe I got stuck in the rain twice yesterday. Oh, it's telling me to make a left on sunset? Fuck. I'm not, I didn't even like look at the address or anything. I just know like it's close. Oh, let's go. Uh oh, come on. This feels like a ground level apartment one. Just walk in, leave it and go. That would be really nice. That would be really, really nice since we do have this other order behind us, but we're not, oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. I just have a good feeling. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so, oh, except for this dog. Oh yeah, this place is not locked even. There's 16 on the left, there's 22, there's 16. Number one, both. All right, this scooter looks good through the fence. Let's go. We know where we're going. We got 10 minutes to Fuller. Let me double check the packing job. I for almost forgot there's a drink in here and I'm driving a little. Okay, drink is packed tight. Let's go. We're going to the top of Fuller. Other than La Cienega, this is like a top two or three hill in the neighborhood. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. You realize you live at the top of a hill when you live up there, which is where I live. You're at the top of the hill, but you're at the base of the Hollywood Hills. It's a perfect address if you're poor-ish. All right, we're going to Fuller. We got an entry code. We've been busy, I like this. We did the two $7 orders back to back and uh, everybody's getting them on time and it's gonna put us up to uh, 20 bucks in the first hour maybe. How far have we been out here for maybe? 43 minutes, nice. Yeah, this is just one of these spots where you hit the name and they buzz you in. Awesome. Thank you. I don't know why sometimes I think they can hear you, but we're in. Oh, it's warm in here. All right, we're going to the fourth floor. Pretty good, we got three orders down in under 50 minutes. Now the real issue is how long will it take to get our next order? I guess from here, it's back to Chick-fil-A. Uh, this is my neighborhood, guys. You know, I live close to here. I've probably been a little too loose with my address. Please don't show up at my door. I think I've hidden my apartment number well enough, at least. Oh, come on. I screwed myself going down this street, it was dumb. Actually, I'm gonna turn around. Easier to go down this other street. Hollywood Boulevard in the morning is great. Hardly any zombies out here. Mostly zombies in search of coffee, I would guess. It's not really that early anymore though, right? What time is it now? Oh, it's only 8.05, all right, we got at least another hour and a half to work, that's good. Let's go, buddy. Come on. There's nobody there. Go, go, go. We picked up a $10, but 1.9 mile, pretty far order deep into the hills. But it is 10 bucks. There's no drinks. It's going to be pretty relatively easy delivery. So, all right, let's go. $10 into the hills. That's, that's a fair price, I think. I especially like it that there's no drinks. Since it's an Uber order, if it had drinks, I might have, I might have refused it. Hey, Jennifer W. Thank you. Hey, you too, you too. Oh, and I love this order, no drinks. I mean, it's definitely going. We're definitely going into the hills with it, but you know, we're out, we're out here on the ultra, so battery is not. Even though I didn't come out with the full charge. Battery's not that big of a deal, let's go. So we're going pure north, Wilcox to Ivar to Vine. So that's it, Wilcox, Ivor, 
Wilcox, Ivar, Vine, and then we're like right on top of the destination. So let's get the Wilcox first. Oh, it's so busy out here, fuck. I got a message from the customer that says we're up a steep driveway, so I kind of know where we're going. It's no big deal. It's not, it's pretty, pretty easy. All right, well, let's find the steep driveway. Phoenix neighborhood, we gotta go through this tunnel first. Gotta keep an eye on the sat nav, though I'm not exactly sure where we're going. We're looking for Primrose. Remember when I said Wilcox, Ivar, Vine? We're finally at Vine. Giant hill in front of us, but again, I'm glad I'm out here on the Ultra. Battery is less of a concern. We're probably down to half battery, but in this scooter, it's like a legitimate half battery. There's like 20 miles left. All right, so left on Vine. All right. We did get turned around a little bit up here, but that's okay. We're close now. That's gonna be right here. Oh my God, is it that house right there? Hell yeah, we found it. How do you like that? Who the hell, who could find this so easily? I mean, damn. This is crazy. Yeah, I mean, these are just seriously brutal hills, but at least we're just rolling all the way home. I'm not even sure if we're going the right direction, to be honest with you. I hope we are. Yeah, that's fine, so we're good. The camera can never really catch how steep these fucking hills are. Just rolling the whole way, that's good. I guess we're going back to Chick-fil-A. That's what we're closest to. We got a pretty good looking uh, order for like $7 and change, a mile and a half for McDonald's. It's just like eight sausage McMuffins and it's my McDonald's, the one I eat at, so I know where we're going. These are the stars on Hollywood Boulevard. If you've never been here, or don't know what these are, they're semi big deal. And this is uh, some, I don't even know what is next to McDonald's, but this. And this is McDonald's right up here. I think we're just gonna walk right in, and if we're lucky, we'll just get this order. How you doing? I got Lucilia seat. It's eight sausage McMuffins. Okay, let me make sure I got the thing. Okay, thank you. Alrighty. Yeah, if you Google Breakfast Republic, I ate there with my friend the other day. The type of place where, you know, we live here, and if our mothers come into town, we'll take them there. I dropped like 60 bucks on the two of us for breakfast, but it's a very special place. This guy's eating eight sausages and McMuffins for breakfast. <laughs> Where are you from? Oh, you're practically local. <laughs> I think this should be an easy one. It's like a half a mile from here and it's on Hollywood Boulevard. Curb jump. Boom. Let's go. We're close. We're up. It's up here somewhere. Pretty sure. 6380. What are we looking for here? First tie up of the day that I'm showing you. I don't even remember, but we use a kryptonite lock, guys. Link in description. It has proven the test of time for me. It is a good lock. Very nice. Now we just got to go up the stairs, I think, and we're golden. All right, hopefully nobody's going to mess with our scooter out there. This is a sh shitty little part of town. Okay, Lucilia C. For Lucilia C? Awesome. Thank you so much. Sorry, thank you very much. Take it easy now. Thank you. Very good. Well, luckily that worked out pretty good. You got to see the photo that I snapped. It was pretty good. So 841, we're looking for an order now for sure. I realize I leave my secondary camera in the box there unattended. I mean, a guy would have to really be a piece of shit to go fishing through my, a guy's delivery box, right? All right, we're golden, we're golden.
That was a nice little order. Let's head back to Chick-fil-A now. We got a really sweet double. It's like $10 total. Uh, it's only a couple miles and the second one finishes close to home. So that'll definitely be our finisher. So we're just waiting here at Chick-fil-A, of course. Scooter looks good. The Ultra 2 is really holding up well. Not only did I put on new tires, but <laughs> did Ryan put on a new front tire, but he cleaned the hell out of it for me. And I'll swipe that for you. And you're probably still working on a Gene, Gene Z for Uber as well, correct? Gene with a J. Uh, that's me, Gene Z, when you're ready. Uh, fantastic, thank you. Alrighty, awesome, you're the best, thank you. It's a monster finisher with three drinks, but we happen to have three drink containers, so that's good. Put this here for now. Unfortunately, this first one is to the Avalon, which is like a huge pain in the ass building, but that's fine, at least we know exactly where we're going. 7316 Santa Monica. And we got a half hour before we got to be home. I think we'll be golden. As we're pulling up, I have to decide, like, do I want to try to sneak this past security or should I just tie up, which is like right here. And it's a really easy tie up spot. I see the security guy sitting there. So I think we're just going to tie it up. This first one is for Gene, which is the, with the two drinks. So that's good. Another quick tie up, but we got to keep, got to keep the scooter upright. There's a drink in there. So I think we're okay. Hi there, it's your food. I'm just about to uh, get to the entrance of the building. I don't have a code for you or an apartment number or anything. Okay, I'm walking down right now. Okay, cool. I'm right at the uh, 7316 entrance. I think I see you. Is that you? No. Oh, okay, okay. That's okay. All right, here. It's all right. I got it. I got it. Thanks. One second. She's coming down. Yeah. On the back side of Avalon, or, um, I'm at the 7316 okay, entrance. Yeah. I'm at the entrance close to Trader Joe's. So I'm basically, I'm basically screwed waiting for this customer because she doesn't know where she's coming out. I think she said she's trying to come out from down there, but she doesn't even know this fucking building. So I'm putting everything back into the scooter and I'm just going to drive around and look for her because this is crazy. I'm just guessing she could be down here. This is really not cool. Oh yeah, there's an entrance right here. Fuck, this is crazy. Oh my God, this is gonna be her. So I didn't think you'd be able to figure out where I was if you're new here, so. It's okay, we got you, you're new, you got it, we got you. No problem, Louisa. Make sure I give you the right one. Yeah, your name is Gene, not Louisa. Okay, thank you, thank you. Enjoy. Welcome to the neighborhood. We got you. Man, that really killed that killed our fucking speed. But luckily, I figured it out. I didn't think she was going to. Uh, you know, sometimes you just know she's not going to know where I was if you're new to the neighborhood. So, all right, we just got this last one. It's not going very far. Let's go. Coffee is still in pretty good shape. I know we're close now, 1440. This is us. The customer requested you leave the order at their door. Additional instructions are provided in the Dasher app. All right, we got it. Ooh, damn. I don't like the sound of that. All right, 302 for the little $4.25 order here. Let's go. Fellow pioneers, I'm, I'm gonna be in a rush when this shift is over. We're done, we worked for like three hours. We actually made some money today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions, set your notification for the live stream. Appreciate your support. Electric Scooter Academy bonus code, $50 off. Any e-move or Cabo product, link in the description. All right, 302, let's get this last one. We actually only worked, we worked two hours. Did I say we worked three hours? We actually only worked two hours. All right, but let's, uh, let's go home. Damn. God, that door needs to be fixed. All right, we're going home.